Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about top 10 most famous volcanoes. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Experts will provide you with a wealth of scientific knowledge about volcanoes, much of which is fascinating. Volcanoes, on the other hand, remain fascinating natural phenomena for the layperson to observe or visit. It's worth noting that volcanoes piqued our interest, as children, maybe in the same way that dinosaurs piqued our interest. Dinosaurs, unfortunately, cannot be seen in real life, but volcanoes can. Here is a top 10 list of the world's most active volcanoes. Number 10. Mount Cotopaxi, South America. Mount Cotopaxi, which stands at 5,897 meters, and is still active, is one of the world's highest volcanoes. It has been revered for centuries and is still considered a sacred mountain by locals. It is located on the famed Brim of Fire. Cotopaxi is an active stratovolcano in Ecuador's Andes Mountains, situated in the Latacunga canton of Cotopaxi province, about 50 kilometers 31 miles south of Quito and 33 kilometers 21 miles northeast of Latacunga. With a height of 5,897 meters, it is Ecuador's second highest peak, 19,347 feet. It is one of the highest volcanoes on the planet. Number 9. Mount Tambora, Indonesia. Mount Tambora, which erupted in 1815, was responsible for the largest volcanic eruption ever reported, blocking out the sun. Its lava flow and toxic gas clouds killed about 10,000 people. It is still operational today. Mount Tambora, also known as Tombora, is an active stratovolcano in the Lesser Sunda Islands of Indonesia. It is located in West Nusa Tanagra, Sumbawa. It was created by active subduction zones underneath it, and stood more than 4,300 meters 14,100 feet) tall before its 1815 eruption, making it one of the tallest peaks in the Indonesian archipelago. Number 8. Mount Peli, Martinique. Mount Peli is one of the most well-known volcanoes in the world, having erupted in a catastrophic eruption in 1902 that killed 30,000 people. Its presence is continuously monitored since it is located on the Caribbean island of Martinique. In the worst volcanic tragedy of the 20th century, the stratovolcano's 1902 eruption devastated the town of Saint-Pierre, killing 29,000 to 30,000 people in a matter of minutes. Just two people survived the largest eruption, which occurred on May 8, 1902. Ludger Silbara survived because he was in a poorly ventilated, dungeon-like prison cell, and Leon Compare Lander, who lived on the outskirts of the area, escaped with serious burns. Number 7. Mount Pinatubo, Philippines. Mount Pinatubo holds the record for the most powerful volcanic eruption in the last century. 15th of June, 1991, more than a million tons of carbon dioxide, were ejected into the atmosphere during the explosion, severely damaging the Earth's ozone layer. Not surprisingly, it is still considered an active volcano today, though geologists plan to use modern technologies to predict its future activity. Number 6. Mount Fuji, Tokyo. Mount Fuji shares the same iconic status as Vesuvius, being sacred, majestic, and shrouded in mystery. Mount Fuji, Japan's highest peak, is known for its nearly perfect conic form. It is revered as a holy mountain and is a renowned tourist destination. The atmosphere around Mount Fuji is always gloomy with a little fog, adding to its aura of mystique. If you really want to see the volcano in all of its glory, visit during the cooler months of the year and stop traveling during the summer. Number 5. Mauna Loa, Hawaii. Mount Loa, the world's largest volcano by volume and one of the most dangerous, is one of five volcanoes that make up the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Mount Loa has erupted several times in the past, and its volcanic activity has also triggered earthquakes. Mauna Loa, the world's largest subaerial volcano in terms of both mass and height, has long been thought to be the largest volcano on the planet, rivaled only by Tamu Massif. It is an active shield volcano with relatively gentle slopes, with a volume of approximately 18,000 cubic miles, 75,000 cubic kilometers, despite the fact that its summit is about 125 feet, 38 meters, lower than Mauna Kea's. Mauna Loa lava eruptions are silica poor, very fluid, and generally non-explosive. Number 4. Mount Etna, Italy. An active volcano that is constantly moving. The Greek word, Aetna, means, I burn, which is how Aetna got its name. It has been around for about 2.6 million years, but it has also been traveling for millions of years, according to geologists. 
It appears to be creeping closer to the Mediterranean Sea, according to records. Zeus, the god of the sky and thunder and king of gods, was said to have imprisoned the deadly monster Typhon beneath this mountain, and the forges of Hephaestus were also said to be beneath it in Greek mythology. Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes, with eruptions occurring on a nearly daily basis. Vineyards and orchards are spread around the lower slopes of the mountain, and the vast plain of Catania to the south, thanks to the rich volcanic soils. Mount Etna has been declared a decade volcano by the United Nations, due to its recent activity and proximity to a population. It was added to the list of UNESCO World Heritage Sites in June 2013. Number 3. Krakatoa, Indonesia. Another popular volcano is Krakatoa, which is located on an island in the Sundara Strait. The volcano is best known for its 1883 eruption, which is now regarded as one of the world's most devastating explosions. The tsunami that followed the eruption is also well known. It is located on the Indian Australian and Eurasian tectonic plates, and is well known for its volcanic and seismic activity. Krakatoa is also noted for its unique sunsets. In 1883, Krakatoa's dust reached the Earth's atmosphere, resulting in spectacular orange and red sunsets for a full year. Number 2. Mount St. Helens, United States. Mount St. Helens is still an active volcano, with the most recent eruption occurring in 2008. It is best known for a massive eruption in 1980, when one portion of its foundation slid away. Because of the amount of science and technology that has been used to understand the volcano, it is of great interest. Scientists, geologists, and geophysicists, for example, have developed a 3D model of the volcano in order to predict possible eruptions. Mount St. Helens is best known for its catastrophic eruption on May 18, 1980, which was the deadliest and most economically devastating volcanic occurrence in U.S. history. 57 people were killed, with 200 houses, 47 bridges, 15 miles, 24 kilometers, of railway, and 185 miles, 298 kilometers, of highway damaged. A lateral eruption caused by a large debris avalanche triggered by a magnitude 5.1, Earthquake decreased the elevation of the mountain's summit from 9,677 feet (2,950 meters) to 8,363 feet (2,549 meters), leaving a 1 mile (1.6 kilometers) wide horseshoe-shaped crater. 9. The debris landslide had a volume of 0.6 cubic miles (2.5 cubic kilometers). Number 1. Mount Vesuvius, Italy. If you're interested in volcanoes and visiting them, Vesuvius is unavoidable. It's historically important, and it's close to Pompeii. But Vesuvius isn't all about history, according to volcanologists, Vesuvius is the most unpredictable volcano on the planet. It exploded for the last time in 1944. However, no one knows when it will happen again. The Roman cities of Pompeii, Herculaneum, Oplontis, and Stabiae, as well as many other towns, were devastated by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius in AD 79. The explosion erupted a cloud of stones, ash, and volcanic gases to a height of 33 kilometers, 21 miles, erupting molten rock, and pulverized pumice at a rate of 6,105 cubic meters, 7.8105 CUYD, per second, releasing 100,000 times the thermal energy emitted by the Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings. The eruption is believed to have killed over 1,000 people, but the exact number is uncertain. Pliny the Younger's two letters to the historian Tacitus are the only surviving eyewitness accounts of the case. Vesuvius has erupted many times since then, and it is the only volcano on the European mainland to do so in the last century. It is now considered one of the world's most dangerous volcanoes due to its population of 3 million people living close enough to be affected by an eruption, with 600,000 in the danger zone, making it the world's most heavily populated volcanic area, as well as its proclivity for aggressive, destructive Plinian eruptions. What do you think of this video? Which of the following top 10 most famous volcanoes in the world do you find most interesting? Let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.